Welcome, my beloveds, to this evening's lecture under the title of Journey with Christ. And it is so important, especially in our times and age, that we need to have our journey with Christ, for there is no other way that we can have this journey with but Jesus Christ Himself. He is the way, He is the truth, and He is the life. He is the only mean that we can get through to Him and through Him unto God Himself. It is Jesus who has made God our Father. It is Jesus who has given us a new birth. It is Jesus who has made us sons and heirs to the kingdom. It is Jesus who has given us freedom, liberty. It is Jesus who has given us the light. It is Jesus who has given us the dignity. It is Jesus who has given us the identity. It is Jesus who has given us everything we lack and everything we need. My beloved, journey with Christ. We thought it was extremely important to share with you on what we need to do to begin this journey with Christ. What do we need to do? And it's a reminder for all of us that we need to remind one another what are the simple requirements, what are the simple points that we need to address in our life in order to begin this journey with Christ and also to continue this journey with Christ till the very end triumphantly in His holy name. So, journey with Christ, a few pointers before we go into the topic of this evening. Number one, I urge everyone who is watching us and listening to us, turn your homes into a little church. The, the church begins at home, my beloveds. This is where we need to have an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. I am urging everyone, start a prayer room or a little corner in your homes. You can have a cross there and an icon of the Lord Jesus, the Holy Mother, and whichever saint that is very dear to your heart. Make your home a small church. Uh, have a place uh, designated for your prayer and turn your home into a church, my beloveds.